All right, so we're here at JR's cooking class, and we're gonna go ahead and teach you how to cook poke. Yes, poke. What are you doing here? Come on, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna teach him how to cook. That's yeah. what he has to say. Let's go. What's going on, guys? All right, I'm back. It's been well over a month. I miss making videos on this channel. I'm definitely not done. I took a little bit of a break, so uh, let's get into this uh, vlog, this update. I don't know what to call it, and uh, let's get started. Okay. Let's start the vlog. I do want to talk about right off the bat is I popped my first cherry going to my first horse track, uh, horse racing event. Okay, so we just left my first horse race, and I would say the few things that I can think of is number one, they move the gate. Number two, the jockeys are really cute. And number three, there's like chart things for betting, which is really confusing. I feel like you need a, a degree from MIT to do it. Thank you, Luis. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. We'll be back. Oh, who's racing next? Uh, Dom D. Dom Dom. <laughs> I love the name. <laughs> Boom. And in that same breath, um, our friend Luis took us across the border and I went to Juarez, which is the border town right below El Paso. And what I'll tell you right now is we just did a quick lunch. We had some Mexican food, enchiladas, and a bunch of random stuff from menudo to some cool stuff um, I'll, I'll show right now. television, whether it's CNN, Fox News, whatever floats your boat about border control. That shit is real. Uh, it just was different seeing it. Um, it's obviously a lot easier from us going into Mexico and it's a lot harder getting back to get us back in because the hustle is real. I mean, these people are selling everything from ukuleles to chips with hot sauce to windshield wiper blades. I mean, one of them. Or dude has just a whole bunch of them. Just a different experience I just want to highlight. Then there was Fahrenheit 180, which is a non-dudes episode I filmed last week. Uh, awesome meeting, obviously new restaurant owners, people trying new concepts, but they introduced me to my first take into a charcoal latte. Yes, charcoal latte made out of coconut hash. Um, in fact, forget it, I'll just show a, a quick glimpse into the video we made. Um, check it out now. So that was cool. Uh, Fahrenheit 180, non-dudes episode coming soon, which leads me to our non-dudes website, which is now launched. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, it's live, nondudes.com, get your non-dudes t-shirt. We're running out of sizes, pretty awesome. We only have two colors, white and black. The material of the shirts are great, support the cause. Um, it's our first time trying out Shopify, so Nick went ahead and got into that. We started playing with you know, hosting services through Bluehost. Just a great experience to kind of build something on your own. And that leads me to kind of creating my own brand outside of non-dudes. That's something I'm gonna try and focus on uh, moving forward as a creator. Um, I need to hone in on like what's my main thing. I'm sure everyone struggles with that. Um, I definitely struggle with it because I just have so many things moving that I wanna do, make, and create. I just want to share that with you guys that that's happening. Okay. Now let's just talk a little personal. Um, so if you didn't know, from my Belgium yeah, video, I took, it was pretty much my last 30 days at my previous job, uh, 13 year sales career, um, and it was phenomenal. Had a great time, great relationships, wouldn't trade it in for the world. And when I left, it was the end of the calendar year. And one of the things I'll just share with you guys um, that are watching this video is, although it was extremely liberating, not having to be on a, you know, a conference call or a corporate call for that matter, um, it was definitely lonely. Um, because you realize how busy everyone else is and how whatever you're doing is really just solely on you and you gotta be as busy as you can be and hustle as much as you can to make whatever you want happen, whether it's knob dudes, whether it's getting another job, whether it's taking care of your family, and there's just so much happening, and that happened to me. And it was slightly overwhelming, but um, you know, I got through it, um, through you know, good support of both family and friends, and dig deep and just realize that this is only temporary, and it's up to you to kind of get through it, and, and, and just keep pushing forward. Um, I think I hit this midlife crisis in my mid-30s, you know, a couple years ago, and it's extremely important to me to keep moving forward. I'm not where I want to be yet, and I know it's just a lot of hard work. So, anyway, that's the long personal part of this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys liking it. If you made it this far, smash that thumbs up button. 
That gives me just that little warm and fuzzy feeling inside that you watched it. And um, let's get to it. Yeah! 